Hey guys, somebody posted an interesting comment under a recent video I put out with regards to getting tech jobs. So I'm going to read this comment and give you my two cents, but I think it uh, it's pretty instructional. So let me just zoom into it right here. I've highlighted the uh, important points, but let me just start at the top. Uh, so this guy writes, I broke into the tech into tech shortly before the pandemic as a former truck driver. I put in five hours. 100 applications to get one job. That's a success rate of 0.002%. No one told me it would be that hard. And I think that's why people end up quitting. 100%, that's a big part of it anyway. I understand that your chances of success are low for any particular role, but if you stick with it long enough and apply to enough companies, you will eventually break through. Now I get five messages from recruiters on LinkedIn every day for the same tech jobs that rejected me. So I'll give this guy a good thumbs up, good comment there. So yeah, that's a major point you want to take away is that experience is everything. Experience is everything. And the hardest job to get in tech is that first job. Once you get that first job, then the floodgates open and you have huge opportunities. As I mentioned in other videos, when you are first breaking into the tech industry, you have to learn your technology, you have to learn how to code and how to build real projects. It's huge. And the other thing you have to consider is you have to learn how to get a job. There is a process to it. A lot of people mistakenly believe that if they do a couple of React tutorials that they're going to be able to land a job as a senior developer. It doesn't work that way. You have to get your foot in the door initially as an entry-level developer, and then you'll see your value will just skyrocket with every month of experience that you actually have. That's why in my mentoring program, Shameless Self-Promotion, once people get through their fundamentals, we have them building real projects for real people with these little projects that you've done, free, little freelance gigs that you do for free. You will build a portfolio, you will build huge confidence. And with this, armed with this, the chances of you landing a job increase huge. So I think you can get a much higher percentage uh, success rate in landing your first job if you go through the process I suggest. So instead of the 0.002%, it would be much, much higher. No question about it. Again, you have to understand that the key to landing that first job is A, fundamentals, B, build something, some real projects for local small business, coffee shops, whatever, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but build them, execute on them, gather requirements, communicate, et cetera, and then uh, build your resume accordingly. And then you have to study the job market. You have to look out there, see what prospective employers are looking for and uh, then align your skills and your resume accordingly. Start applying strategically. When you go in for interviews, ask people what you could have done better. They'll tell you right off the bat most of the time. And you have to develop a skill of getting the jobs. Once you've done that, and once you've landed that first job, as this guy said, he gets uh, five uh, he gets, uh, I now, now I get five messages from recruiters on LinkedIn every day. So that's another thing. You want to also get yourself on LinkedIn once you have uh, developed some skills and got a little bit of a portfolio. You want to get yourself on LinkedIn. If you want to get jobs, you want to get yourself on LinkedIn because LinkedIn is the uh, professional social network. You're not going to get, you know, Twitter could be good too as well. I know people do well by mining Twitter as well. But I think LinkedIn would be my number one choice. And number two would be uh, Twitter. So there you go. Don't despair. If you've been learning how to code and you're worried about getting a job, there's plenty of jobs out there. You just got to follow what I just talked about. And the job will come. And once you get to that first job, then that's it. Then you're set. You're set. 